just want to start this video guys by saying this is not new footage it's quite old it's from about two months ago around the Halloween period I just haven't had time to edit and when I have had a little bit of time I just don't want to edit simple as that but now I do have some time on my hands because I have to self isolate due to somebody who I worked with get testing positive for COVID-19 so it means I'm housebound but don't worry guys I'm perfectly fine I'm showing no symptoms it's been about six days now and yes I still could show symptoms later on but at the minute no symptoms perfectly fine so no need to worry at all about me hopefully once my isolation period is over I'll be able to get out and I'll be able to film another video for you guys a more recent one than this but in the meantime whilst I'm housebound and I can't get any footage out to you guys here is some old footage from around the Halloween period hope you enjoy guys hi guys winter is upon us the wet weather is here the cold is kicking in is it quite chilly morning and we're back at the undercover car park my favorite winter time spot to refer my only winter time spot so um no plans we're just gonna go with it i've not skated like for over a week now so I need to get my skate legs back going as I said it's quite chilly could take me a while to warm up so we're just gonna see what happens it could be a ropey session it could be a ropey session I'll just put that one out there right now but I need to skate I need to skate so here we go let's skate
ever since this time last year, my 180s have just not been the same. I've lost speed, just commitment in general. Because it was this time last year, I was doing the seven days of the 180, which I'll leave a link for up there, if you've not seen it already. And I was trying to 180 off the curb, and I really messed my ankle up. I was out for like six to eight weeks, and yeah, that just plays on my mind every time I try and do 180s these days. So I need to try and work on my 180s more. And that is what I was doing just there. But anyway, enough of that. Some more skateboarding. A bit rusty with the shove it's but once I got going I was okay I think I got like five in a row maybe and I think that's probably the best I've ever done five in a row with shove it's it's never been my strongest trick and then front side fakie I'm regular do just hit and miss as per usual I'm always a bit like that so it's not too bad not too bad really so, I want to try and end with a kickflip. Yes, a kickflip.
There's one more. Yeah. I think that was toe to touch again, guys. That is going to have to do. Oh man, quite pleased with them kick flips. I don't know if that one counted, where there's third, the second like land, which could have been toe touch. The first one definitely had toe touch. The last one definitely had toe touch. The one in the middle, I'm not 100 sure if it did have toe touch or it was a clean land. Either way, I'm quite happy. The only thing I was a bit disappointed with is. I made the mistake to go and look at that second one to see if there was toe touch. I don't think there was, but I don't know. You guys can clarify that in the comments below. But the problem I had was that I went to watch it back, so then when I started back up again, it just completely ruined my flow. And I just um, lost like, the rhythm that I had built up. Did manage to get another one though with no with a bit of toe touch, with, well, quite a lot of toe touch to be fair. But, uh, yeah, that's it guys. That is the session for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to keep working on those kick flips and all my other tricks. So, more videos to come in the future. Like, comment, subscribe. See you soon.